Hey guys, we're here, Knoxville Nationals. It's Wednesday night, it's our prelim night. We drew our pill, we're on the front stretch, so that's a good start. Uh, really excited to try to get this Houston Speedway number two in victory lane tonight. And we got a lot of cool stuff here. A little bit is released today, but we got two more t-shirt designs coming out tomorrow. So come stop by the t-shirt trailer. I'll be here every day of the week signing autographs. and We'll do specific autograph sessions and let you guys know, but I'll be here to stop by and uh, take a picture, get an autograph card, and uh, let's have a good week. I can do it. Carter, come on, you don't run the show. At least make sure I look And I feel like there is more eyes on sprint car racing and dirt track racing as a whole than ever before right now. This is a huge week for the sprint car racing community. Yeah, I, I attest that to uh, my YouTube channel, you know, so check that out. But, uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, man, sprint car racing is awesome, and people are realizing it. We have corporate sponsors back in the sport. Dervision's brought a lot of eyes on, and I think just social media in general, right? It's so easy to, to post a reel on Instagram and then anybody to see it, just like TikTok. So I feel like that our world is changing, and dirt racing is gaining momentum, and we're having more bigger-paying races, and... Um, you know, the streaming deal is, is pretty crazy and that just bringing more eyes and people want to leave their homes. So um, I just think that uh, it's headed in the right direction. We need a couple more car owners, but as far as fans, um, car counts are pretty good as well. But uh, fans population at each track has been really, really good. So I think sprint car racing is doing really well. It's on both sides of the racetrack. Finish line pizza and our nachos being oh, all available for you. For uh, your eating pleasure here tonight, Mazda is going to come down and they love it all. The nachos are great. The tender ones are great. The chicken ones are full of rice. So I'm going to tell you, all the friends down there for you as we check your flight success this day. Right, right, man, the French are very crazy. Hey, that's the thing. Yeah. Yeah. Your burger does. That's hard. to clock in from Watertown, Connecticut, driving the Houston Speedway, Billion Automotive, Jackson Motorplex, High Performance Lubricants, Cherokee Transportation, car number two of David Gravel. And also on the racetrack now from Springfield, Illinois, the rock star, Pond Creek Stone, King Racing Products, Modern Paving and Scrap, car number 65 of Jordan Goldsberry. Of course, David Gravel currently second in the World of Outlaw NOS Energy Drink Sprint Car Series point standings, a five-time winner this season. First lap time for David is 14th quick, 15, 799, 15, 799. First lap time for Jordan Goldsberry. 
is 19th quick 16 246. Jordan, his best two finishes this season were a second at Angel Park and another second at Sycamore Speedway in May. Lap number two for David Gravel is better up to ninth quick, 15 664, 1 5 6 6 4. And lap number two for Jordan Goldsberry improves 18th quick, 6. negated by the waving of the caution flag. Per se, but easier as the green flag waves. Mike Wagner getting a huge start on the field as they run into turn number one. Here comes Mark Dottmeyer. He can't get there. Down the line. Since 
slow in on the high side of the third turn to bring out the caution. One and David Gravel coming with him now. Gravel trying to get by Cole Messina. Gravel's got the spot at the midpoint of the back straightaway. Gravel gets by him as Donnie shots down, knocking on the door. James McFadden, they're side by side in turn number four. Battle for the third spot down the front sheet. James McFadden with the advantage. Shots in the third spot now with his sight set on Giovanni Selzy in the second spot. James McFadden running in that fourth position. David Gravel now getting by Cole Messina from fifth as they race into three. Gravel up to fifth. Donnie Schatz gaining on Giovanni Selsey. Shots and Gravel separated by James McFadden. But Cole Macedo not going away. He works the top side on entry into one and two. And he's got to run on David Gravel. He does. He looks to the outside but can't get there. Gravel strong off the bottom of turn number two. Meanwhile, Donnie Schatz making a run on Giovanni Selsey in turn four. They're within four car lengths down the but Still the race leader. Now Donnie Schatz in second. Will he have enough time to close in? Traffic now a factor for the Shark Racing 1S as Logan Schuhart works around the outside of Mike Wagner. She he gets the brand professional agriculture qualifying night number one win. Logan Schuhart is the winner. And what a battle for third. David Gravel able to steal it away from Giovanni Sozzi as they cross this line.
and when you look at it, it's just lagging out in that position. But I'm curious, I'm curious to see if it's that same way tomorrow night. If it is, I guess we'll be kind of gritting our teeth. If it's not, they'll probably be making, you know, be able to pass in the fourth row tomorrow night. Uh, just him, just me. Just the fanboy. There you go. Thank you guys. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. That's right, Jack. Huh? I'm gonna get changed.